time for chit chat let's get straight into it start off with blow drying your hair feel free to take your time as you're doing this do it on the lowest heat that your blow dryer has um, get the back part as well take your time as you do that so it's a fine tooth comb I'm parting the hair I want that side part that goes to the opposite side because I'm going to sweep my hair to my forehead it's the olive oil edge control that I use to gel down my hair get a comb fine tooth comb preferably scoop it out of the tin I don't like to use my nails get stuck in there it's irritating scoop it out get a generous portion there you go then you apply it on your hair I know you can hear the hands in my background but sorry about that there's nothing I can do about it apply the gel the edges of the hair at the line then sweep sweep back use the back end of the comb to press the product in the gel get a brush continue to slick it down get a comb comb through please do this to the point where you feel you're comfortable with the neatness of your hair do the same for the other side since I'm going to sweep the hair onto my forehead I have to make it neat that's why I'm using a fine tooth comb if I hadn't blow dried I would first go in with a comb that is not a fine tooth comb then you know so I choose to use a fine tooth comb all the way hold your path make a knot on your ponytail then get needle and thread we're going to sew on our extension it's a human hair piece I think it's size 16 oh yeah I'll include it in the comb, in the caption sew it on put the needle in the th put the thread in the needle make that knot and then start sewing I like to first do a knot on the end of my hair then I get the extension push your needle into the extension and drag it all the way to your hair now you're going to start rolling it round rolling the extension round your hair and for each time you go round two times you take it round twice that's when you sew on you take it round twice then you sew on or twice then you sew on you want to make sure the needle is away from the extension because it will get entangled as you roll it and it's hard to pull out so that's us fastening the two rounds we've taken round the two bits we've taken round take your time as you're doing this it can be quite challenging it challenged me for the first four or five times but you'll get the hang of it so that's the first bit of the extension it's on comb through get the second extension and sew it on just like the first one take it round and then you sew take it round and you sew just make sure the needle and thread are away from where you're taking it round so it don't get entangled so there will be times your palms get sweaty and um, the needle is just slippery and when you try when you put pressure to put so it goes through it will be pinching you at that point feel free to use a handkerchief feel free to use a comb any tool so you're able to push the needle <clears throat> yep sometimes it's like that you have to section the hair so let's turn it around iron it a bit so it's sleek and covers that green puff holder i know you can see it I like to leave it out so it gives it an impression of real hair you know when you hold your hair in a puff that part is a bit tight so we take it round multiple times as you take it round comb through take it round you comb through I clipped it with a bobby pin so now we are going to use these rubber bands 
hold your hair put the rubber band on i actually don't know what this hairstyle is called but i've seen i tried to google and i saw jasmine something like that i don't know well let's put another so so far this is what our hair looks like i've not yet combed the edges that's a second rubber band so at the tip of the hair i iron it to give it a nice curl because i'm going to coil it in so that's our ribbon i got that from didan red bow got it from didan so that's what we look like i hope you liked it don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching adios